Are you someone who enjoys horror books? Hey everyone, Carmen here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Always Scream Fire by Matt Dancer. This is the sequel to the first book, Always Yell Fire, and I ended up giving this book a three-star rating. I'm first going to give you the basics of the first book, then I'm going to work my way into Always Scream Fire. In the first book, there's this town that burned to a ground due to a fire that started in a complex. There were four firefighters in this town. All the firefighters and a lot of the people that didn't get out of the town ended up becoming victims. So essentially, this town became a bit of a ghost town. In the first book, you get to know the story of the four firefighters as well as the one victim in the complex whose name is Daniela. In the first book, you hear of an incident that befell Daniela. Now, it appears as if this ghost town becomes a realm and Daniela becomes the main haunter of this realm. Other characters that you meet in this realm are the firefighters, which have now become the stokers, and then the victims of the fire, which is now called the ash people. It seems like the only way to enter this realm is via three ways. You either have to be in a deep sleep, unconscious, or in a coma to enter this realm. So in the first book, you meet all those haunted characters, and then you also meet other characters that enter the realm that become haunted by these people. A lot of these characters that enter this realm in the first book end up becoming victims. In the sequel, there is one main survivor, whose name is Elliot. He ends up being one of the main characters in the second book. Other main characters that you meet in the second book is Sam, Grace, and Denise. In the second book, Daniela ends up taking a much smaller minor role. Other minor characters that you meet in the second book is Miranda, Dominique, and Scarlett. Now, with all these characters that you meet in the second book, I'm also going to point out some connections between them. Miranda ends up being connected to Elliot, and Dominique ends up being connected to Sam and Denise. As you go along in the second book, you find out the reasons for these connections. In comparison to the first book, this novel didn't seem to have a lot of direction or purpose at all. If I had to choose between the first and second book, I actually prefer the first book. This novel focuses a lot on the haunting of the main characters. By the time I finished this book, I was actually wondering if there's going to be a third book. If you're someone who can ignore grammar errors, punctuation errors, as well as occasional sentence structure errors, then definitely try reading this book. If you're someone who can't go and ignore errors like that, then I would suggest you skip this book. I've been able to follow Matt Danza from his very first book, and one thing I will say is that his writing has gotten a lot better as the books go on. Though, as I said, there are still the occasional grammar, punctuation, and sentence structure errors. Though I do still enjoy reading these books. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely be chatting to you soon. Cheers.